We'll need two Wii sensor bars, a good quality USB cable, but not too big that it can't fit in the Wii sensor bar, and a couple solderable perf boards. The tools will be a tri-wing screwdriver, soldering iron, and a Dremel with a cutoff wheel, and some kind of drill to drill a little hole in the perf board. First, remove the six tri-wing screws from the bottom of the sensor bar. The outside screws are under adhesive mounting tape. I just trimmed that portion away, but you can also just poke the screwdriver through it. And now for the wiring diagram. The Wii powers the sensor bar with 7.235 volts at 175 milliamps. Inside the sensor, there are two circuit boards with five LEDs and a resistor running in a series on each board. The resistor is 24 ohm, which leaves 6.15 volts for the LEDs, or 1.23 volts for each LED. And we measured the LEDs a little under 67 milliamps. Now for the modded version. With USB, we'll get a power supply of 5 volts, typically running at 500 milliamps for 2.0 and higher for 3.0. We still use two circuit boards since that's what fits, but we're going to run three series of four LEDs. Each LED will now get 1.25 volts. It's an increase of 2.5%, but it's close enough. And since each series will use a little under 67 milliamps, we'll need a total of 200 milliamps for the whole sensor bar, which is well under USB's 500 milliamps. So as long as you don't run this through an unpowered hub or a really low-powered wall charger, it'll have plenty. Here are the two perf boards you'll need and what you need to make them look like. And here they are on the sensor bar. So I just used a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to get them to shape. So this is just to show for reference how far the LEDs need to stick out. If they stick out too far, the little lens cover won't go on. And if they're way too far back, then you're going to lose tracking. So this shows the polarity of the LEDs, and they're all the same. So once you figure out one, um, just solder the next one in the same way. And when you start soldering them in, you can fine-tune the distance by just bending the little leads a little further in or out, and it'll make a big difference. Uh, the other thing is the boards are a little thicker than the stock ones, so you're going to have to make more room for them in the case, just like using the cutoff wheel to remove some of the case and try to keep a sixteenth inch away from the hole on the board because the way the case comes together it, it kind of goes on to that portion and you don't want to have to remove that any more than you need to. So we tested this against the stock sensor bar and we couldn't tell the difference going back and forth. So I consider this project a success. If you like this but don't want to build it, there's a link to below to purchase. Please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.